What's going on, y'all? Never simping. Game back in here. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never simping out this bitch. Your mama ain't simping. What? Your daddy ain't simping. What? Everybody ain't simping out here. At least over here. That's right. Check out that mug. Check out the beautiful shirts my uh my twins got on the screen. And today we're gonna be talking about religion. Okay, so I'm gonna be narrating behind the camera. I got my boy over here, and then my other man's right here. Shout out to my man's. Shout out to the shirts they got on. That's the special edition Yin plus Yang. Right? So Check it out, right? I'm going to go ahead and let them talk. All right, what's going on, y'all? I'm the version of the yang, got the dark on, and I'm representing yin. What's going on, y'all? I am yang, representing light, and, you know, we're going to be here talking about religion. Me and my man. Right, so, like, what what questions were you gonna ask us? All right, so the questions that I wanted to ask you guys about was, and basically this is gonna be a discussion. We're just gonna be talking. We're gonna be talking about religion, okay? So this whole religion thing. All right, people on, you know, Twitter talking about Joel Osteen and you know how he running his business. And how he running a religious faith-based business, okay? That is clearly stated in contract law. But everybody and their mama, especially people that call themselves black, even though we're not black. And when you look at my skin, um, and I tell people straight up, don't call me black. Because I'm not black. You see that shirt you ain't got on over there? Off to your right? Yeah. That's black. Look at my skin. It ain't black, baby. Okay? So, that's a whole nother video. But, people, black people, so-called black people, have been calling themselves being Christian. Okay? Whatever religion. When all these religions are based around business. Alright? And Joel Osteen is... The one that's basically capitalizing off of it. And there's nothing illegal about it, okay? This man got big-ass houses, got Ferraris and all these things. And he just sit there and tell you, he probably already did, that God wanted him to get it. So God blessed it upon him, all right? That's all somebody got to do to, you know, get y'all to believe in something. So, I just want to know what y'all think about that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and let Light talk. So, yo, check it out, right? Um, you're not supposed to be out here believing everything that is told to you. Right? Can we agree on that? So, bottom line is this. When you go to church... Your pastor building and, you know, his business, trust, is connected to EIN, okay? 
And then it can get even deeper into some other things, but that's just keeping in business terms. Um, they're making money off of y'all coming to church, all right? But they sit there and tell you that, um, you know, money is evil. So they put y'all in a poverty mindset and y'all don't want to do anything. And then y'all want to go out, outreach to something outside of you called Jesus. Okay, well, Jesus came from a man-made book. Okay, King James <laughs> made the book. For all the people talking about, oh, who made the book, who made the book, King James made the book, the Bible. Remember? That's the one y'all, y'all don't want to talk about the Old Testament, y'all want to talk about the New Testament. Right? When it comes to, you know, Christianity. But the also, a lot of the thing. I don't really get it with you guys is that y'all don't question anything. Somebody could tell you that a snake told a woman to go buy the apple and you you take that to the bank and you you say, man, in in on the fifth page of the Bible, on Corinthians 12, on the 11th day, thou shall not eat no apple. And it's like, how you remember that? And you study that to the grave. But you don't know what cash flow is for LLC. Or you don't know what a trust is. Or you don't know what a corporation, S Corp is. What creates taxable events. You don't understand none of these things. But they keep you bored. And, you know, not bored. They keep you, they keep an idiot busy. Okay, and when I tell people that, they get offended. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and let, uh, what's your name? Yen, go ahead and talk about, um, some more about this, because y'all out here for a while, ain't they? Y'all crazy. Alright, so go ahead and tell them something that, uh, they don't know about you, Yen, and, you know, what you got to say about this, um, this religion stuff, Joe. All right. So, first of all, I wanted to say that was a good, you know, leeway into what the fuck I'm going to be talking about, okay? I'm going to keep it straight up with you. A lot of the people that's in these religions and things, religion is a good structure to um, bring children up into, especially if you are coming out of uh religion yourself and you're still trying to figure out yourself just like okay the bible said that the kingdom of god is within right but how come no black black people ever recognize that but they go and spit about talking about you know oh snakes are evil like snakes are slimy and things of this nature i had a pet snake okay her name was candy cane and she was one of the nicest animals I ever had. Okay, she wasn't slimy or anything like that. But y'all actually take these things literal and then you living inside a book instead of living inside of the real life reality. Alright? And this is how people control you. So when people got control of you and control your thinking, when I, someone like me who come and spit some game at you about actual reality. You look at people like us and you say they're evil. They got the spirit of evil on them. Okay? Oh, you 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 out you in rare form. Yeah, don't talk to that boy over there because he he he's not saved. He needs to repent. Okay? When and then ask yourself another question. Before you get mad at Joe Osteen for taking y'all, well, no, he didn't take y'all money. Y'all gave him that money, okay, willingly. So he said, he basically told y'all, out of the book, hey, man, riches ain't everything, money is evil, right? And then y'all actually believe that, so y'all keep yourself and your, your family poor. Um, you don't invest into yourself. You invest into things outside of yourself because of your low self-esteem. And you think, um, Jesus is going to come and save you. Um, 
then you give your money to people like the pastor and Joel Osteen, and then they go and do the opposite of what they told you to do. Okay? Joel Osteen ain't telling you about LLCs and trust. Okay? He not giving you the real information. He told Kanye West the real information, but Kanye West had to pay a consultation fee. Alright? And the other thing is, this isn't an atheist message. This is a message of truth telling you that God is everything. Okay? God is the masculine, and then the, the divine feminine is the universe. Okay? The universe is that dark space, just like the shirt. Okay? And just like the shirt. You know, game got on. That represents masculinity, the sun, uh, light, and things of that nature. Okay, these are tangible things that you can see. Okay? And these things is what's powered the divine energies and things of this nature. Okay? And they take these things and, you know, allegoric, allegorically talk about it in the things such as the Bible. Uh, the Quran, just like in the Bible said, uh, the Most High told, or God told the feminine principle, okay, the universe, let there be light, boom, because it was, it started out as dark, let there be light, bam, okay, that, some people call it the Big Bang Theory and all these things. But that's what you got to understand. Okay? And then y'all also got to watch that video that I showed y'all. Who did black people... This is another good question. Who did black black people... I wouldn't even say worship. What, did it, what, what was their religion before? Religion. And that's too much for most uh, people that... You know, especially came up in a black household and, you know, think everything is evil, snakes are evil, oh, um, you know, just have a bad mindset about life because they living outside of a book. And then they wonder why, you know, and these would be the same people that will literally live off of fast food, um, don't, don't follow the commandments about, you know, dietary guidelines, you know, eat bacon and things, and then sit up here and try to convert other people into Christianity or whatever religion they're talking about. So, you know, it's crazy um, that we got to say these things. It takes three of us to go ahead and push this message. Um, but this is the truth, man. Like, even I know what Joe Osteen is doing because I'm doing the same thing. Um, similar. Similar. You know, he actually has a church. Um, but since everything is online digital now, you don't necessarily need a church. Um, you got things like conventions and, you know, things of that such. And uh, that by law, you know, a convention is by law a certain thing two parties coming together, and um, and that's what I have, Joel Osteen actually has a church, you know what I'm saying, but that's how we operate, because we study, and we ask questions, and we actually get the truth from asking those questions, instead of listening to what broke people told us when we was young, okay, that provided st structural integrity, instead of being out here all loose, with it like everybody else's parents that ain't connected to nothing. And, you know, they you see they end up shot, dead, selling drugs, or in jail. Okay? It keeps you out of debt when it comes to religions and things of that nature. But at some point in your, your divine spiritual uh, elegance, <laughs> elegance um, path or journey, you need to start looking at yourself. Who am I? 
right? And a lot of people, especially a lot of women, don't like to do that. That's too much work for them. But, you know, I had the connection before I was homeless, but it strengthened definitely when I was uh, living outside of that bag. All right, so you had anything to say? No. So I guess we're going to go ahead and close this out. Yeah, y'all gave some really good answers, man. Shout out to both of y'all. Um, we're going to go ahead and close this joint out. Y'all remember to check out Never Simping. And just remember what was said in this um, video, okay? This is not entertainment. Even though this might be entertaining to you for some reason. All right? Y'all go ahead and remember, we ain't never simping out here, baby. Your mom ain't simping when we're around on this channel. Your daddy ain't simping when you're around on this channel. You understand? Go ahead and get you some of that merchandise. Clean-ass merchandise. Best clothing in the world. You understand? Because we connected to something over here. Uh, most people connected to something that's evil. I'm going to just be... Look at the people Look at the people going out in the um, music industry. The young boys. Signing with Young Jeezy and all that. Or no, um... Um, Yo Gotti. They don't know what they signing up to. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in, you know, spiritual stuff. They think that's, you know, allegorical. But they would probably believe more in the Bible more than actual spiritual stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happens when you come up around people and you don't start to live your life instead of living in a book. All right? So... We just represent truth over here, man. And, you know, ask the questions that people don't like to ask. All right. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.